There's not really harm per se in finding a student's instructional reading level, but it's what you do with that data or that level that makes all the difference. I'm Lynn Coolidge, the Director of Early Learning at NWEA, and I live in Canton, Ohio. So if you are assessing students for an instructional reading level, just so that you can put them in, say, guided reading groups during the week, typically what happens is that a student's instructional level isn't always at grade level. So if you're using that level to limit their access to grade level text, that's not an equitable practice. So instead, if you assess students for an instructional reading level, use that information in the context of the grade level text that students need to be able to read and use that information to determine how much scaffolding and what kind of scaffolding do your students need in order to successfully read text at grade level. And part of every scaffolding strategy needs to be fluency instruction. And we want to ensure that all students, not just some, but all, have access and the opportunity to be successful with grade level text.